Hello, my dear friends. I'm Dr. Chaya Nair, welcoming you to an interesting and inspiring episode of Teenage Talks. Are you aware that December 3rd is celebrated as World's Disability Day? The newspapers were flooded with pictures of so-called disabled people doing unimaginable things. Here are some examples. Boniface Prabhu is a quadriplegic wheelchair tennis player and won a medal at the 1998 World Championship and was awarded Padma Shri by the Government of India. Have you heard of Sai Prasad Vishwanathan? He lost sensation in the lower half of his body when he was a kid, but he didn't let the disability hinder him. He became India's first skydiver and has his name registered in the Limca Book of Records for being the first Indian with disability to skydive from 14,000 feet. Arunima Sinha lost her leg when some robbers pushed her out of a moving train. Two years later, she became the first woman amputee to climb the Mount Everest. Have you ever seen the films A Beautiful Mind and The Theory of Everything? These are the stories of John Nash and Stephen Hawking. Every year, I receive New Year greeting cards from the physically handicapped children of an NGO. Some of them are done by the children who have no upper limbs and they paint it with their feet. All this set me thinking. Are they really disabled, handicapped? They are utilizing the resources available to them. How many of us with perfect physical, mental and intellectual equipment are utilizing the resources available to us? If we are not utilizing, are we in some way or another handicapped? How do you like this definition? A handicapped person is the one who doesn't utilize the resources available to him or her. What are our resources? Our bodies, minds and intellect with enormous energy are our best resources. Time is the next most important resource we have. Education, family, finances and others come next. We are the bundles of energy. Our bodies will bend the way we want them to bend. Have you ever watched young girls performing gymnastics or yoga masters performing mind-boggling yoga asanas? Is there anything that our bodies cannot do? We can climb mountains, delve deep into the seas, run in deserts and many more things. The potential of our mind is enormous and unlimited. Studies reveal that human beings use only 5-7% to of their brain capacity. Think of the wonders we created. We could break open an atom, make nuclear weapons, we could go into the space, explore other planets and unravel the mysteries of the universe. Human mind is the most powerful computer in the world at the moment. We are endowed with higher intellectual functions like creativity, analysis, abstract thinking, judgment and many others. How many of us are even aware of our intellectual capabilities? Isn't it sad? that all our resources are not being utilized fully? It is time to realize that we are stars with the enormous physical, mental and intellectual energy. We need to take stock of ourselves, understand ourselves and chalk out a program to use our resources in the best possible way. St. Augustine says, and I quote, people travel to wonder at the height of the mountains, at the huge waves of the seas, at the vast compass of an ocean, at the circular motion of the stars, and yet they pass by themselves without wondering. Unquote. You are a wonder, and you have an immense little unutilized potential within you. Mary K. Ash says, and I quote, aerodynamically, a bumblebee should not be able to fly. But the bumblebee doesn't know that. So it goes on flying anyway, unquote. All the so-called disabled people, if they were to listen to people around them, they couldn't have achieved anything. So my dear teens, don't listen to people who discourage you. You can surmount any difficulty and achieve what you want to achieve. Please write down all your resources. Introspect and find out whether you are using your resources to the best of your ability 
and chalk out a program for yourselves. It is time to bend your bodies, stretch your minds, and stimulate your intellect and create a vibrant version of yourselves. Please don't forget that time is an important resource and many of us don't utilize our time. If you find time, read the book by Arnold Bennett on how to live 24 hours a day. Thank you guys for listening and see you in my next episode. Till then, be fit and keep smiling.